Good morning, I'm Travis Guillory. And I'm Corey Duke, and here are your top stories from Two Works for You. In the day ahead, the search will resume for human remains in Rogers County. Investigators now want a second search warrant to expand the area near Ulaga, and search dogs found some evidence there. They believe it's connected to a 2013 cold case from out of state. The Cleveland School Board in Pawnee County is meeting this morning at 8 o'clock after Superintendent Aaron Espalt suddenly resigned. The district didn't say what prompted the move, but Espalt says it's to spend more time with his family. The superintendent says Assistant Superintendent Alan Baker is going to be taking over the job. And Tulsa City Councilor Jeannie Q will be at the White House today. She's taking part in a conference with 100 female city leaders from across the country. They'll talk to White House staffers about ways to solve issues affecting their cities. And now it's going to check of today's forecast for meteorologist Kirsten Lang. All right, good morning. Well, we are going to be looking for partly cloudy skies today and a south breeze at around 10 to 20 miles per hour. A little bit on the breezy side for us with temperatures and Getting up above average. We'll look for a high of 56 degrees this afternoon. Tomorrow morning, we're waking up in the 30s again, a little bit of a cool one. And then as we head into tomorrow afternoon, we're back up feeling mild with temperatures back closer to about 57 for your Friday high. Now, as we make our way into Saturday, we're going to be looking for the Tulsa Christmas Parade. That goes on at 1 o'clock on Saturday with those temperatures at that point in the upper 40s. We're going to see a light north wind and mostly sunny conditions. Uh, Saturday afternoon looking nice as well, very seasonable, a little cooler, highs right around 50 with a few upper 40s in spots. As we look ahead on our seven day planner going into Sunday and Monday, we're going to be looking for cooler weather to come into the area. We'll also look for disturbance to track through and that may be bringing us a chance for a little bit of a rain and snow mix. Now we'll be watching this for you over the next several days ahead as those details continue to get ironed out as we head between now and then. So we'll let you know all the details with that as we get closer. Otherwise, in heading into the rest of the week, Tuesday, Wednesday, tips will be in the 40s with mostly sunny skies. All right, thanks, Kirsten, and thank you for tuning in to this digital news update. Keep checking back for updates all throughout the day. And be sure to join Karen Larson and Mike Brooks tonight at 5, 6, and 10 on Two Works for You.